Hello, this is Mark Summers here with another update on my solar powered mobile device charging hat. Uh, so I decided to start a, a Hackaday project page for this so that I can keep you guys updated on what's going on and, and the tests I'm doing and kind of show you the, uh, the prototype, what it can do, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, this one, this particular uh, prototype I'm using for my <laughs> more abusive testing. I don't know if you can see the various dents and stuff in the panels from previous testing I've done. But I thought, you know, why not actually show you the test? Uh, maybe you guys think that'd be cool, and hey, if not, well, who cares? There'll be another video this weekend. <laughs> okay, so anyway, uh, yeah, uh, so I'm doing a rain test. Uh, so we had some, some heavy rain. Man, it was like really coming down. Um, so I left it outside in the rain for a couple hours. It got soaked pretty good. Uh, and, uh, and then I, I just took it in the shower just now so that we could get some of these uh, droplets on the actual panels. Um, you know, so, so this is this is from the shower, but still. <clears throat> okay, so let's let's see if this thing works, right? So I'm gonna take my, uh, this is the connector going to the hat. Oh, by the way, this has no battery module in it. I'm currently waiting on new battery module, uh, uh, on the new PCB uh, for the uh, controller, uh, the charge controller for the battery module. That's not done yet. So, so we're just testing the solar cells themselves. Uh, we'll do the uh, we'll do the electronics module later. Okay, all right, here we go. So let's get some light on this. Uh, all right, and we get this over to volts. Okay, and just hook this up real quick. Yeah, all right, and that. All right, and we're getting uh, three point six. You know, I can change the angle and. Get a bit more, get a bit less. Uh, uh, 3.6 volts, basically. <clears throat> now this sun, this light is nowhere near as strong as the sun, uh, especially when it comes to ants. The volts are usually close, like minus, call it 20%. Uh, but the ants are usually a lot less. But uh, you know, it's still it's good for testing to make sure that it basically works, uh, like we're doing now. All right, so we're getting 3.6 volts. Let's go over to amps. Um, there we go. This particular multimeter, you have to change the terminal. All right, and we're getting 40 milliamps, 0.04 uh, uh, amps. Yeah, so that's not very much, right? If it was, if, if this was in the sun, it would be more like uh, uh, probably 0.6 amps, something like that, 600 milliamps. Um, yeah, anyway, so it works, great. Uh, wonderful, that's what we wanted. Uh, so, uh, and, and you know, I'm not saying it's it's like waterproof by any means. I'm sure it's not. Uh, <laughs> I probably will do that test at some point, like run it through the wash or something. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, the point, what we're looking for here is like, imagine you have a watch, like nice watch, uh, but it's not waterproof. Uh, well, that you would probably not think twice about wearing that watch in the rain, right? Uh, and that's what we're looking for here. You can wear it in the rain, but you don't go swimming with it on, especially not in the salt water. You know, just like if you had like a nice Rolex or something, you would not, <laughs> you would not jump into the ocean wearing such a thing. Anyway, so there you go. Uh, that's that's uh, uh, that's one test, and I'm, I'm going to do some more tests uh, uh, later. Let me show you guys some more videos of that, uh, and uh, see what, see if you like it. Let me know what you think. Uh, leave your comments and uh, criticisms and whatever uh, in the comment section.